starting part three of our lower back program today, we're gonna get into a little bit more strength. So last week we finished with our sideline clams. Today we're gonna get into our sideline hip abduction. So is what we want. We're gonna go onto our side here. Both legs are gonna be straight. We're gonna focus on lifting this top leg. But again, I don't want that leg to drift forward at all when we start to raise. If it drifts forward, we're working on our quadricep, which isn't necessarily going to be impacting our lower back pain. So is what I want you to focus on is keeping that leg back just a little bit. Your ankle should be in line with your knee, in line with your hip, in line with your shoulder. From here, this one's a little bit tougher than our clams, but you can focus again on raises anywhere from 10 to 15 repetitions, okay? Where should I be feeling this one? You should be feeling this one on the side of your butt cheek, working its way into your hip. Again, if you feel it into this quadricep muscle here, you're letting that leg drift too far forward. Once you feel that you've gotten a nice little burn going on one side, you can go ahead and switch on over to the other side. So again, we're on our side, our legs are straight, and then we're lifting that back leg. Now, one thing you also want to be cautious of, you shouldn't be lying on your side like this, where my hips are technically still pointing towards the ceiling. When you're on your side, you need to close those hips off. All right, that way when you go to lift, again, we're focusing on that muscle that we really, really want to target today, that gluteus medius. After 10 to 15 repetitions are complete, you can go ahead and move on. The next one we're gonna get into is a form of a bird dog. So what we can do with our bird dog is a couple of different ways. We can do the easiest form, which is going to be pushing the leg just straight out behind us, or we can combine arm and leg motion, all right? One thing I will say, if you are feeling a great amount of lower back pain, I might recommend just starting with the legs, and if you can tolerate that motion without any pain, then you can start to add in the arms. But is what we often see when people are battling some sort of lower back pain is a little bit too much of a rotation. And that's gonna add to that lower back pain. And that's not what we want. We wanna make sure that the glutes and the multifidus and the spine in this case are all working in conjunction with each other. If they're moving in such a rotational manner, we're not gonna be aiding that lower back pain. We're gonna be adding to it. So, if you can complete this motion here on both sides, with little to no pain and little to no rotation, then is what you can do is you can simply add in your hand. So it'll be right leg, left hand, both are going out in front. This is very similar to 10 to 15 repetitions each round that you do. Our final movement from our part three of our lower back program is going to be some strength yet again. So this time we're gonna be focusing on the whole entire core musculature system. So yes, this wraps all the way around from our abdominals into our lower back. So is what you need to be able to complete is a simple plank. It doesn't need to be anything that's super fancy or a weighted plank or anything like that, but you should be able to complete a plank a couple things that we're looking for with our plank here. Number one, we don't want our hips to come all the way down to here, okay? That's not gonna be a plank. Number two, we don't want our butt all the way up in the air. Number three, we don't want our head to be hitched super far forward and up even if our hips are up, all right? We want our spine to move in one motion or one straight line throughout the entire plank. Now, the other thing that you might want to think about with our plank here is if it hurts to be down on the elbows, there's nothing that says you can't do a plank from the top of a push-up position. But again, our abdominals are squeezed. 
my head is in a straight line with my spine, and I can complete this motion from either my elbows or my hands. So what are we looking for when it comes to a plank? You should be able to hold that plank anywhere from 30 seconds to one minute. So go ahead and try these exercises for part three of our lower back exercise program.